Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. And there's so much that I am learning about Shri Ram as I move forward. Maryada Purushottam, the ideal man, the man who was a symbol of the correct kind of values you need to uphold in life. We have a character like that in the Mahabharata as well, Yudhishthir. And the story arc of Yudhishthir's life is that he was kind of like Shri Ram. but he lived in a different era and eventually with yudhishthir he is conned into losing his material wealth as well as his freedom in some ways and through his story arc he understands that if you're only purely good the evil world will take advantage of your goodness they say that the ramayan happened in the treta yug the mahabharat happened in the later yug which is the dwapar yug at the end of the mahabharat when shri krishna passes away that's the beginning of the kali yuga but shri ram existed in the treta yuga where you could afford to be maryada purushottam so while i've gained from the ramayan i do believe that we live in very very dark times and from a more practical perspective it is important for your brain to learn from the mahabharat and to understand that if you're only purely good then the evil that exists in the kali yuga will take advantage of your goodness you have to be good with a little bit of pikante with a little bit of spice as you dish thir learn or you need to surround yourself with other warriors your brothers like arjun and bhim to protect you in so many ways but in your core in your heart of hearts you need to be maryada purushottam if you're a human being not just if you're a man you need to uphold the values that sanatan dharma talks about you know i was having a conversation with my mum and i told her that i've realized that in life at age 30 as i've built businesses i find myself being competitive for the first time because i've already understood how to win at life in so many ways i sense that i'm becoming more competitive am i becoming jealous not at all jealousy is an outcome of feeling bad about someone else's results results are never in your hands results are in the hands of the divine If you feel a sense of jealousy because of someone else's results or someone else's gifts, then that's wrong. But if you feel a sense of competition in terms of okay, if that person could do it, I know I can one up whatever that person has done based on my own abilities. That's called being competitive, having trust in your own abilities and the work that you put in. For the first time in my life, I find myself being competitive. And I'm always trying to be competitive with people ahead of me. be it in numbers be it in finances be it in fame i'm not even kind of looking at the people behind me you have to look at the next person ahead take inspiration from their process not their results understand that there's a difference between jealousy and a sense of competition do you not feel that maryada purushottam shri ram felt a sense of competition when he took on ravan in war was he jealous about the kingdom and the great rakshas army of ravan no he was competitive because he knew that his abilities and the presence of god inside him they say that shri ram didn't know that he was an avatar of vishnu he just was an innocent human mind which actually had vishnu bhagwan in his core everyone else around him knew that he's a form of vishnu he himself didn't know that what is the ramayan really trying to tell us it's trying to tell you that in your core you just need to worry about the process you need to worry about that sense of hard work preparation the right values and be a little competitive if someone has wronged you if someone has brought any form of adharm you don't have to have a sense of hatred towards them you have to just go and get what's yours do it the right way prepare the right way do the right things build teams be a good leader and trust in your own abilities because in your core in your heart if you're maryada purushottam and in your mind if you're absorbing things from tim ferris joe rogan the best of the west you're understanding that the world is not like the subcontinent which is like should desi ghee it's much more pure the world is not like that and there are elements of the evil world in the subcontinent now as well 
your mind needs to be very mahabharat your heart needs to be very ramayan while i was doing research for this solo episode the one thing that came up was that truly both the ramayan and mahabharat are about human suffering and if you go through both of those stories again and again throughout life as you grow older you'll gain more and more from those stories based on the questions that are arising in your heart at different stages i'm thinking so much about the process of suffering at this stage and i've realized that both these stories are about suffering in so many ways there's so many themes but the underlying theme is suffering why does the word suffering give us an element of negative energy in our own life when i say the word suffering to you i ask you a question i ask you what has been the greatest suffering of your life and all of you listeners have your own answers for it what's the greatest suffering you went through a divorce bankruptcy a breakup the death of a loved one the death of a pet rejection failure all these themes are present in both the ramayana and mahabharat and at the end of the stories good wins the war against evil heart of the ramayan mind of the mahabharat this was our ramayan special and i wish i could have also relayed the story of the ramayan to you but that's not my job maybe eventually when i don't know what the right way forward is when my pain in both my mind and my heart crosses a certain threshold all i can do is go back to the 4 year old version of me who heard the ramayan for the first time and the 5 year old version of me who heard the mahabharat for the first time which is why i choose to make this kind of content hey if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel you'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it